Have you this use gathering? I mean, praise the Lord. I believe God is here. I know that God is here. I want to thank God for this program, even though I've been blessed by the drama. And I know that every one of us too are blessed. Let us be on our feet to pray. Oh Lord, to that one, okay, Bani, hey, ni mufi, ope, mi fun, oh Lord, oh Lord, to that one, okay, Bani. Jesus name in Jesus name all oh, now God we thank you bless your name for today we give you praise we thank you because we are going to move here today in the name of Jesus all what you be learning all you teaching Lord you take glory and you alone will take all the glory in the name of Jesus and blessing be ours in Jesus name in Jesus name we pray praise the Lord I have been empowered for some years now and I give God all the glory because he has been blessing me and he has been using me for so many youths in my church and in and outside my church. I grown up at Oshodi and I have been doing some things which God has really been helping me. I went to school. I'm just giving you the background of who you are meeting because this, I came from first school. This is not my church, and I'm filled with the spirit of the Lord. My real name is Ahmed Sulaiman Ahmed Kayode. I'm once a Muslim, and God has been helping me in every area of my life. I went to OOU, even though my dad and my mom threw me out of this, as not out of the house. But you know, it is good to have hand work. It is good to what? To have your hand work. God has blessed every one of us. God has blessed every one of us. God gave one. One talent. He gave another what? How many talents? How many talents? Two. Give, he gave another. How many? Five. God gave every, every one of us. God gave every one of them one or two talents. But God saw me through. And I know that God will see every one of us through in the name of Jesus. Ah, God will see me through more in the name of Jesus. Because if you are not saying amen, God will see you through in the name of Jesus. I met a brother, Brother Robert. He came to my church some years back. And I followed the, the guy up. And he said, ah, he has been troubled. I said, what is going on? And he told me some things. And I thought the guy just how to make what? Air freshener. And the guy would just be sending me credits. Some 15 naira, MC. Nah, 1,000 naira. You know, you just, just be sending me credits. I, said, I, I, I have to call him that. They don't spend money like that. Even though I have taught you how to make all these things. But you must, you must save. You must save. And since then, the guy stopped. Not that I'm not enjoying the credits, you know. I'm enjoying the, as in what he sent me. But I have to still put him through that. He must save. Our, the, as in you are giving a topic, I was giving a topic, the glory of the youth. The glory of the youth is, is what? 
their strength. Even though I'm married, but I'm, I'm, I'm still, a, I married just this year, but I'm still a youth, and I'm still useful. Every one of us here will be useful for the glory of God in Jesus' name. I want us to open the Bible to the book of Luke. Luke chapter 10. Luke 16. Somebody should read for me, please. Luke 16, 10 to 12. Luke 16, 10 to 12. Luke 16, 10. Luke 16, verse 10. Luke 16, 10 to 12. He that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much. And he that is unjust in the least is unjust also in much. Verse 11. If therefore ye have not been faithful in the unrighteous mammon, who will commit to your trust the true riches? And if ye have not been faithful in that which is another man's, who shall give you that which is your own? Praise the Lord. It has faithful in little. The guy that God gave a talent, just one talent to, he went to what? He went to hide because it is little. And if you are faithful in just a little thing that God placed in your hands, God will give you more. God will give you more. I remember a particular time in my life when I was selling clothes. I was going from one place to the other to sell my clothes. And I met a woman. She, she's a barrister, barrister OB. I don't know if you know him. I don't think, if you, in case you know her, you can contact her. And the woman, I was selling, and the woman said, Ah, Rakari, so you can make it because I was in a shop when a customer called me that she wants to make her. I make her. I make her too. And a customer called me that she wants to make her hair. I have to rush down from our shop to go and make a. You know, you must. We, we are. We are. We are gifted. God has given us, as in God gave us so many gifts, and it is in us. If you read your Bible very, very well, you discover so many talents that God gives. And from that place, I went to make the hair. I'm just talking about just four years ago. I went to make, and since then the, the woman knew that I know how to make hair. And uh, you know, to make hair for a barrister. Even if I'm going, she will give me times two or times three of, of my money. I have to gather all the money and do my, do, my, do my wedding. You know, God has blessed us diverse of gifts. I have so many gifts. And I don't have all these gifts because I'm a Muslim, it's because I'm a Christian. And I know that every one of us here are believers. When I was a Muslim, I did not even think of those gifts. But when I gave my life to Christ, and I was reading the word of God, I, I, I think we that we are Christians, we don't know the value of what we have. We don't know the value. You believe that your daddy is this, he will pray for you, your mommy is that, and tell you by me, you will not run to your maker, you will not run to God. And when I know, even then, that my daddy threw my clothes out of the house, I was in the church, praying from morning till evening. And that was where God changed my story. And I believe that God can change every one of our story here in Jesus' name. Ah, God will change my story for good in the name of Jesus. Don't use God for excuse not to make it in life. God. God is not a lazy man. God works. He works for six days. And rest for, for how many days? For one day. But so many of us want to, as in work, for one day and rest for six days, which is not good. I don't know your example. I, I don't know as in your, your own father. God works for six days. Me, I'm a busy man. I'm just, I'm very busy. 
I can't just sit down for two, three hours, not doing anything. We must be occupied. He said, occupied till what? Ah, till what? Till I come. You must be occupied in every area of your life. You must be occupied. Either even if you are lazy, then you are not in line with God. Then you are not a child of God. You are not. God will help us in Jesus' name. Let people give excuses. If you are lazy, you you be giving excuses. Ah, eh, you know, you give me a debit of excuses. And it's not good. It is not good. God will help us in Jesus' name. You need more work than rest. If you work during the day, if you work very hard, if you work, then if you want to sleep, you will, as even you will have a sound sleep. You will have a sound sleep. But if you do not work, you'll be struggling. Ah, It's not a cause. But if you have a sound sleep, if you have a good work, you went out in the morning, you walk, you walk, and you came back in the evening, you, just, you should have a sound sleep. God is a good example. And he has given us all that he has. He has given us Jesus Christ. So what else you need? God will help us in Jesus' name. You need more work than what? Than rest. John 5, 17. Somebody should read for me, please. John 5, 17. Praise the Lord. He said was, Jesus said to them, my father is a worker and I was, and I walk. Jesus walk. Jesus walks. Even though he doesn't even have his, his, his specific place to sleep. You sleep, you can even get, as you read it, there was a time, there was a time he slept in what? In a ship. Jesus works. So we too, we must we must walk. If you don't walk, then you must then you are not in God's line. God will help us in Jesus' name. Luke 2 49. Luke 2 49. Again, please, because of the mic. And he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? Wist ye not that I must be about my father's business? That he must be what? He must do his what? His father's business. What is the father's business? Eh? It's to preach. It's to preach the word of God. And it's, it's a work. It's, that is the work the, that, that God gave us. To go into the world and what? And preach the good news to to all, to all creation. It works. God will help us in Jesus' name. Christians are achievers. Christians are achievers. And we must strive to succeed in our business. We must try to, to, what? to succeed in, in our business. If you don't succeed in, in your business, then you must ask questions. What is even business? What is business? Effort to generate what? Profit. Effort to generate profit. Marriage is what? Is what? It's a business. Marriage is a business. And what is the reward? The reward of marriage is what? It's children. Seed is a, is a what? The reward. What's the reward for a seed? Eh? Fruits. Preaching is a reward. What's the reward for a preaching? 
It's souls. It's souls. Money is what? Money is what? The profit. So what what is the reward for money? Eh? It's money. It's money. I want to give you just six common lies. Six words, common lies that if you want to start some some something that you'll be thinking that ah, I don't think that that that, that was what that really helped me. This six common lies. Some people said I want to start a business, eh, but but it is risk. You see, everything is a risk in life. Every everything, even to be here is what? Is a risk. I took like two bikes before coming here to this morning. It's a risk. Everything in this world is what is a risk. Driving is a risk. Abby? Driving. Driving motor or kada is a risk. Swimming is a risk. Swimming is a risk. Marriage is a risk. But if he puts all these things, if you have, if, 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 if you want to drive now and you go to, to driving school, you know, you take that process, then it is not longer a risk. Praise the Lord. It is no longer a risk. Because it was, if a boy or any great man of God said, come into this ship or in, into this plane that I want to fly, that I have faith that we not that won't crash i will not enter because the person did not have words because the person did not have words i want response please eh? Eh? talk to me because because the person did not have words eh? i can't hear us please I said the person is on train. He doesn't have the experience to drive. Not the experience. So I won't enter the plane because the person did not have what it takes to drive the plane. There was, there was a time we were going to a camp, Ajebo. And this guy, I know him in the church very well. He drive, he, he not, he not drive, but he's driving is rough. Very rough. I said, ah. We, we take us to the camp. I was told that Femi, Femi is taking us to the camp. Ah, I don't think I'll be. I'll, I'll, I have to go and take transport, as in to go and take my transport from the bus to that. I can't follow Femi. And I say, ah, why? Femi can drive. I say, yeah, but I still have my. I, I still have a long way to go. That, that, that I cannot enter. And even though he took them there and he brought them, but they are complaining. A lot, a lot of complaints. Ah. Femi was driving, it was God that saved me. It was even somebody gave a testimony that thank God though I went to the camp safely and, I, and why because of the driving. The guy, even though he knew how to drive, but the way he drives, it is questionable. Swimming is very good. Swimming is very good. If, if, if somebody knows know how to swim, even if you want to be swimming too, but if you don't, if, but if you don't have the experience, when we die, marriage is very good. Marriage is very good. But if you do not have a good mentor in your marriage, like I told my wife, ah, I said, we have, before we go into marriage, I said, we need a mentor. And I said, why? I said, I said me, I need a mentor to mentor us because we have not done all these things before. And I said, no problem. And we have to go to one of our reverend that please who wants you to be our mentor. A lot of challenges in, in the marriage. There was time I took my clothes. I'm not getting married again. And I went out. You know, it's... So the man had to call me that, where are you? I said, I'm on my way to Oshodi. To go and do what? I, I don't even know. And he said, come to my house. Because what? My wife used to give me food. Because we are not just three months of marriage. And the man called me, and I went to his house. I ate Tamala, and not be with you. And I said, Ah, daddy, I want to go to your room to go and see. No, we are, we are going to, to my house. Ah, 
I don't, I'm not going to the house again. And so the man said, we are going back to your house. And he came around 11 in the, in the night. And he settled it, and my wife embraced me, and the man settled everything. And so every, everything in life is risky. Everything in life. And, we must, and before you take a risk, we must have a mentor. Even though I'm, I have a, a company which I'm managing, I still have a mentor. That even though if, if, if I do anything that is, is rubbish, I make soap and I have my NAFDAC, my NAFDAC approval for the soap. My, my soap is in Lagos and in some places. If I have, if I have issues, I will, go, I will go back to who? To my mentor, ah, Moshe Sheo, oh my, you were, and the man and the woman will put me through. God will help us in Jesus' name. God will help me in Jesus' name. Say marriage is risky. Everything in life is risky. The more information you have about anything, the less risk it becomes. The more information you have about anything, the less risk it becomes. Anything you want to do and you don't have enough information or knowledge about it, it turns to be what? To be a risk. The second one is that it requires more capital. You say that hey, I want to do business, but it requires I need the capital. It's a lie. You do not need any capital. You need just few money to start with. You need what is in your hand to start with. You don't need much. I started this business with just 2,700 2, Naira. 27. And when, when, when I'm like, uh, coming to inspect my factory, I have to move everything in the house, outside. Out, outside the gates. And when, when they came, they inspect that they're not living here. And, and I was giving my NAMDAC number. So you don't have enough money. You don't need enough money. A lot of money to start a capital is a lie. It is a what? It is a what? It's a lie. You don't need much capitals. I started my clothes business with just 300 naira. I bought just one page of jeans and I sold it and I turned it back. And, and today, God has really helped me. So you can start with just what you have. Don't, look, don't go to any bank to go and look for a loan. Me, I, I, I've never even think of taking any loan. Even though they are coming, and I want to give you five million. I don't know, I, even go, even go, I'll come in, but I won't have rest of mind if I collect such money. Because I've, I've been thinking that it's, it's not my money. I'm rushing now because of our time. The third one is, market is already saturated. You will say they, 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 will, they, will, they will say that uh, market is saturated. Uh, they are doing everything. They are doing everything. There's nothing you can do. You, you just think of it. You can't do anything. It is a lie. It is a big of lie. It is a lie. Just pick anything you feel like as anything you enjoy doing. Me, I enjoy doing making hair. I enjoy as you like to be a movie. Me, you like as even till I married, I'm a virgin. Thank God I'm, I'm, on, I'm on the altar. Not, 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 not that baby I'm on flesh, I'm playing with ladies. No. I, I'll place women say, hey, and they will give me my money. So just think of what you can do that it gives you pleasure, that you enjoy doing, that you really, as in you enjoy doing it. And before you know it, Praise the Lord. I'm not rushing. The first one, you need a very big office. It's a lie. You don't need any big office. Start in your room. I started, I started this business in my room. In my room. Start in your room. You don't need any big office at Aja or Leki or anywhere. Start in your room. And God will help you in Jesus' name. I'm rushing. You can make big business, the fifth one, 
only in few selected types of business. They lie. Just think of what you enjoy doing. I've said it earlier on. Think of what you are doing. Think of what you enjoy doing. I enjoyed tying gilly. There was a time I went to a wedding and I tied gilly. And I said, ah, hey, she will gilly, dada. They said, hey, we don't really know. I tied the gilly. And they asked, I will able to tie your gilly. Say, hey, it's one brother that's very glad to tie the the, that one two came, I tie a gilly, three red nera, and that one came, tie gilly, three red nera, three red times eleven is what? Three red times eleven is what? Three thousand three hundred free of charge. With the wedding I went that I did not even take gifts, as in to the couples, even though as in you know, we are not that close, so I don't even and I took home three thousand three hundred. Just think of what you enjoy doing. Anything. Anything. And God will help us in Jesus' name. I will just be telling you how to make soap. I won't be doing the practical. I will just tell you how you can make your soap. Then the last one, which is the sixth one. Start a business. It's the easiest and the quickest way to make money. It's a lie. It is not easy. It is not easy, it is not easy to be an entrepreneur. You must strive. Anything is not even easy. And God will help us in Jesus' name. I want to train us on how to make soap. Just practical. You have, we have like eight, product, as eight products to make your soap. I believe you are rising. Even though you don't write what you have been saying since, but you must write now. We have sulfonic acid. Sulfonic acid. There are two types of as sulfonic. We have sulfuric and we have sulfonic. Sulfonic is the one that you can use to do your soap. Sulfuric is, is used for toilet wash. Sulfuric is used for toilet. Sulfonic is used for your liquid soap. So you need, you need, you need your sulfonic. You need CMC, CMC. If I, if I give you the full name and you went to the market and tell them they, they will not know the meaning, they will just tell you that, that, that they don't sell it such a. Just write CMC. CMC. Now, the number one is what? Sophonic, not sophoric. Sophonic. Number, number two is what? CMC. Number three is what? Soda ash. Soda ash. Number, number four is what? Caustic soda. Caustic soda. Number five. SLS. 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 Number six. Take Zapon. Take Zapon. Takes upon. Number one is what? Eh? Number two is what? Eh? Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Takes upon. You need your perfume. Your perfume. Your fragrance. We have what we call the units in doing soap. I want to teach you from, as in, because I have just limited time. Then stay, 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 stay. It, that that same thing is what is the tick now. It makes your soap towards to tick. It does not have any effect, any function. It does not have. It's just to make your soap towards to tick. Add the sulfonic acid. Six, how many units? Eh? Six units of sulfonic acid. The same units of what you use to take your CMC. Pour your sulfonic acid. Six units. One, two, till you get towards six, then stay. Did you, are you getting me? Are you getting me? Stay. Pour your 
soda ash is in powder form. How many units? Eh? Two units. Pour it in the water, in, um, in two units of water. Stir it till it gets cold. Pour it inside your this, the CMC and the sulfonic acid that you have, you, have, you have been stirring. Pour it. Continue towards. Ah, you can not hear. Continue towards. Continue to stir it. You have a minute of SLS. Eh? One. Pour it in one unit of water to stir. Because that, that, that one too is, is like rice. In, then pour it inside your drum, your CMC drum. Continue towards. Continue towards. Continue to stir. We have what again there? Test upon. Test upon. How many units of test upon? Eh? Two. Pour it. Direct. Stay. Add. Because that one is like. Is, is, is like starch. Pour it and what? And stay. Are we lost? No. We have what left? Eh? Soda. How many units? One unit. Pour it in one unit of water. Because that, that one is in powder form. One, one unit of water. Do what? Stay. Because that one is like... Okay. Less than 10 minutes. Thank you. How many units of water? The... Eh? One unit of water. Pour it in what? Eh? That's your, your soda ash, your cold soda. It's hard. Don't even let anybody to near it. Pour one unit of, of, of it in, in, inside one unit of water. Then you, it will be hot. Let it cold very well. Then pour it inside your drum. Continue to what? Continue to stir. Your, your soap is done. Then you have to test it. You test the pH. That's what people won't tell you. People that make soap, they won't tell you that you will test your soap, whether it's okay, whether, whether it is not harmful to the hands, because there's some soap that you will use and your hands will be peeling. And that's the end of the soap, of, of soap making. Was you know, the, it won't go if I can't really tell you as a practical thing. God will help us in Jesus' name. God will help me in Jesus' name. Even though I know how to make soap, if I still hear that they are doing soap anyway, I still go. I still go. I still want to know more. I still want to acquire more knowledge. There was a particular time a woman taught me how to make soap. And I was invited to a local government to come and train them how to make soap. I met that woman there. That, the woman that taught me how to make soap. I met her. In the garden of people, I want, I want to train how to make soap. You know, it's, it's funny. So we must go extra mile. Any, 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 anything we are doing, any business you like to do, that, that, you want, that you enjoy doing, you must go extra mile. There was a particular time I went to Abba, Abba, to go and learn how to make soap. So I can make different kind of soap. Just name it. There are some soap that you use to bath. Liquid soap. But if you take them to take, as in, you know, your, your, your real call will, will come out. We have, the, we, we have so many soap. You know, as, even as, I'm, I want to talk, talk, talk to man. As a man, a good, a real man in the house, you must have four sources of income. Four. If you don't worry, you be marrying. A woman just needs two. But a man that you have future, that, won't, that, that are going, going places, you must have businesses around you. And God will help us in Jesus' name. God will help me in Jesus' name. So that's where I'll be dropping my curtains for... Praise the Lord. And the, the issue of Navdak number, you can, if you start, God will help you. You know, if you do not start, they will not, people won't want to help you. But when I, when, when I started, people were, ah, 
I made this your soap is good. Who is the name of that number? I said, ah, I will, I will take. And then people will be rising up to help you. But if you do not start, people won't. Even the particular time I follow some, some, somebody to Abuja. Why? Because to go and make, to go and weigh, to go and put on gili. As in just gili. Ah, you are going to Abuja tomorrow, tomorrow, please. I want to follow me because of gili. You know, just take anything. Just hold on to it. And be the best in it. And God will help us in Jesus' name. So this is one of my soap. You can, you can see it in the market. And, this, and I have like eight products. God has been helping me. And God, can, God that, that helped me can help you in Jesus' name. Shall be on our feet. Hmm? What's he doing? Okay. Be on our feet. Ah, I believe we are youth. Ah, youth. I have just one prayer point. That God help me. That God help me. Lord, just lead me. Lord, help me. They, you, you see, nobody can help. I have just five minutes. Nobody can help. Nobody. It is God that can help. I was having in, in the north just so, some years back, and they are giving us just 9,000. The money they are giving us then it was not up to 10,000 naira. And I, and I was sending 30,000 naira home every month. 30,000 naira home. My mommy, my younger ones, and 30,000 naira every. And the money they are giving us was not up to 10,000 naira. Since the gifts that God has given to every one of us, just pray that God help me. Lord, help me. I can't do it alone. That God should help you. Nobody can help you. No woman being. Nobody can help you. But God can. Even the first thing was that just last two weeks, they begged me to come to, to UK. Why? Because of this soap. Ah, come on. Just, just come. I said, I can't come. I'm telling the truth. Thank God I'm, I'm, I'm on the altar. One, some, some, one person know my younger brother. You can ask. If they be begging you to even push, even, you know, just start. You, you just start. Just, and be the best in that thing. God, just help me. God, help me. Nobody can help. I want us to pray that God should help you and that God should lead you to that which you want, that you want to, to succeed through, as in through anything, just tell God that God should help you, that the talent that is in you, that God should reveal it in the name of Jesus. Lord, I want to help this month in the name of Jesus. Lord, I want this month, Lord. This month, Lord. They need your help. Help them in the name of Jesus. Vision of this. In Jesus' name we pray.